Hello everyone. My name is Ishani and welcome back to IB Professional School's YouTube channel. So last time we had worked on scattered charts. We understood why we need a scattered chart and how do we create it in Power BI. Today we are going to use the scatter charts to find clusters. Now, if anybody is wondering what is the use of a cluster? So in scatter charts, what we're trying to do is find a relationship between the two variables. For example, over here, we have a relationship between sales and profit, profit on the y-axis and sale on the x-axis. So we are able to see the overall, what is the relationship? And we use the trend line to see if the relationship is positive, negative, or there's no relationship between the two variables. Now, it's not necessary that all the values that we have are going to behave in a similar manner, right? Like you can see on this scatter, there are a few scatters which are more towards the bottom, meaning low sales, low profit. Then we have over here where we have a little better profit, higher sales. And then we have these on the top, which are showing high sales and high profit. So how did I come up with this cluster? So what is a cluster? Cluster is basically a group of similar behaving elements. It's very important study that we do so that it's not a general trend that we can talk about for all the elements. So what I've done over here is I've plotted sales versus profit based on various countries. So you can see on the top, India, China, and Australia have a similar behavior versus other countries. So how did I come up with it? So let's create it. We are going to start with a scatter plot. Like discussed previously, scatter plot usually uses two values, two num numerical fields in it. So I'm going to go ahead and plot sales and profit. Now sales and profit based on which dimension, which field. So I'm going to pick country. So now you can see all the countries and all the, uh, you know, for all the countries, all the sales and the profit based on the value of sales and profit, one country is denoted by one single dot. So this is for Indonesia, the sales is 404571 and the profit is 15,642. Now, if I want to create clusters, how do we do that? I'm going to go ahead and click on these three dots on the top. And over here, I get an option of automatically find clusters. Now, once you automatically click, uh, when you click on automatically find clusters, the number of clusters, it will create itself depending on the similar behavior. So we can go ahead and do OK. But in the previous example that I showed you in the previous slide or the page, I had made only three clusters. So if I can, if I type in three, or if you're sure that you want, you know, it may be three, it may be four clusters. So you can write the number of clusters, click OK. And very nicely, it is going to identify the three, uh, the three clusters. And in each cluster, we are saying these are the countries which are behaving in a similar fashion. So to recap what we did today, we created a scatter plot, which is usually to find a relationship between two variables. However, depending on which field we are using to see the relationship between two variables, the behavior might be varying. So if I want to find out the items which are behaving in a similar manner, we use the technique of clustering. So thankfully in the BI tools, we don't have to know the statistics model behind clusters that is getting created. All we did was once we plotted everything, we went, clicked over here, we had the three dots and we had an option called automatically create clusters. I picked three and I've got three clusters of the countries now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and looking forward to seeing you again in more videos. Thank you. Thank you.